Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Sager. And I'm Tim Ears. Thanks for joining us. We want to continue our breaking coverage that we have been following all day long. Uh, a hillside slip has forced a Target store to close. We've been following this for several weeks now. Uh, and now it is sliding even further, uh, causing significant damage that we're seeing to the store. Today. And we have some pictures to show you that, uh, well, actually, the, this is drone video right now that you can look at. And it shows where the back of the store is actually breaking away away from the foundation uh, underneath. Apparently there's a problem and that hillside continues to slip and the ground underneath has caused the store to partially give way. And we're going to show you a little bit later how, how dramatic the difference is just mm -hmm. today alone. Very interesting perspective, but uh, mm -hmm. we, we do have team coverage this evening for you tonight. We have two reporters that have been covering this all day long. Joseph Payton has been talking to some of the neighbors and some of the other businesses in the area. Andrew Colgrove has been on scene all day long and joins us now with the very latest. Hey, Andrew. The, uh, hoping they wouldn't have to wait too much longer before shopping here again are now left to wonder if this location will ever reopen at all. Disbelief Wednesday morning when images of the latest damage to the Barbersville Target began circulating. Very, very shocking. It looks insane. Aaron Davis works at one of the stores in the same strip as Target. This morning it was kind of devastating. Barbersville Mayor Chris Tatum says ground behind the store has moved more over the past few days, most significantly overnight. Nearly two weeks after the first slip here, it's the most jarring damage we've seen yet. I didn't think it was going to get this bad until this morning. Tatum says Target has engineers and a full complement of experts on site assessing the damage. At first, I didn't believe it. Brianna Vess works in the massage business across from Target up on the hill. It was actually very insane just to see the foundation and how bad it has been, like, deteriorating. I do have faith that, um... We're going to be afloat. I just am not sure about Target. Davis says she can't help but wonder how much worse it might get. And it's sad for a bunch of the families that, you know, they need, you know, compensation. They need help. Um, I don't know if they can relocate, but I, my heart goes out for them. As to the future of this business, the mayor says following this latest development, it is too early to tell what is going to be next for it. But he did say the business will not force its way, will not be opening any sooner than it is safe. Tim and Sarah. All right. Hey, thanks, Andrew. And uh, in, in speaking with Barbersville Mayor Chris Tatum, he said that the plan is still to get this store open again. The timeline is just up in the air right now. They have no idea. And when you speak to people like we spoke to the Barbersville police chief today, Darren McNeil, and he said when you're back there in that area, you can literally hear the creaking of the building. So mm -hmm. it's an unstable situation. He told us within the last few hours that it is certainly still moving. Yeah. And we have some brand new videos. Right. Just into our newsroom, showing just that. So check out this drone video. Uh, first, there's there's one that just came into our newsroom. You can see the progression of the slip throughout the day. That first video is from this morning, and then check it out at 5:30, and you can see the difference here. And again, we mentioned uh, local officials are saying you can hear that creaking, the movement, um, even hearing about some siding falling off. So certainly things are happening right now. We also have some photos that show the progression throughout the day of this collapse. Uh, we've even seen collapse there on the side of the road that is buckling written on the road. Yeah, where it says collapse right on the, these photos uh, taken uh, by the Barbersville police chief. We told you about him, Darren McNeil, giving you a closer look at the damage to the store behind the building. This first photo was taken at 1220. As you can see, the latest photo was at 452. Just Four and a half hours later, just a, little, just a little over four hours later, and you can see more of the brick giving way and more of a tilt to that building. So the ground continues to give way. Uh, right now, there's there's no rain obviously taking place right now, but it's probably what happened earlier mm -hmm. if, in fact, the weather was a factor. But we don't know because we're not structural yeah. engineers here. We're just out here reporting on this yeah. situation. Certainly a, a perspective that eventually we hope to add. Right. But we have been reaching out to Target to try to get their perspective on this whole thing as obviously things are moving quickly. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't been able to talk to them since last Saturday right. when they sent us a pretty lengthy statement into the newsroom that said uh, Target has been closely monitoring the land movement uh, under our store in Barbersville. We've also been working closely with local emergency 
emergency responders because the land movement has created a potential safety hazard. Local officials have notified homeowners of the situation and Target is obviously taking steps to support them. Now, one of the other players in this situation, the utilities, and one of those utility companies, West Virginia American Water, says when that slip first happened, they repaired the water main break. And in a statement now, the company says as the hill slip has worsened today and continues to damage our water main, we've had to expand that cut and cap on the water main. Customers in the shopping center may currently be experiencing temporary, temporary low water pressure or no water as we work to make these emergency repairs. Something I know they were hoping to get that water back on uh, working for customers right. by this evening. We'll hopefully get an update that for you tonight at 10 and 11. But uh, we, know, we know that a lot of people come here to shop right. for Target. There's Petco, uh, Home Depot, all kinds of stores. Uh, so what what does this mean for the stores that surround Target? Yeah, it's a good question, and um, one person who's been asking a lot of different people here, News Channel 3's Joseph Payton, who joins us now. And Joseph, obviously, there's a lot of concern from shoppers, but also the neighbors down below in the in the over the hillside. Scary. Joseph. Certainly, Tim. There's really two levels of impact here outside of the actual Target employees themselves. Of course, the the structural integrity of that building. Let's first start by talking about below the hillside, behind the building in that residential neighborhood. We already know that several of those homes and the residents in them have received voluntary evacuation notices. Those notices came as a recommendation from Target itself. Certainly a less than ideal situation for those folks that live down below this hillside in that neighborhood. As for atop the hill here, you're seeing some of the neighboring businesses. I jumped in there and spoke to plenty of those employees. They tell me, hey, we're operating businesses as usual, with some inconveniences, you see Porta John's portable toilets out here because they've been operating with little to no water pressure at this time. Just a result of all the things happening there behind the Target building. For now, I can tell you shoppers continue to come up here and do what they do, but still just as surprised as anyone. Working in Huntington, you know, you kind of hear everything as it happens. So um, to hear about that, you know, and, and to see the picture, it, uh, it makes me wonder, you know, like I said, a lot of people who work here, you know, a lot of people do their shopping here, so it'll affect the livelihoods of many, honestly. Tim and Sarah, a lot of concern from a lot of these local employees who, of course, don't want to speak for their employer, but they just wonder what might happen in the short term and in the long term if this problem gets worse, what that might mean for them in their daily routine and their ability to come up here and work and make a living. For now, I'll send it over to you. Okay, thanks, Joseph. We also, Sarah and I spoke with uh, Barbersville Mayor Chris Tatum just a little while ago, and he said uh, safety remains the number one priority, not just for the people who are up here on this hillside, but for the people who are down below. And he says, once again, that the store does plan to reopen. The timeline is just up in the air right now. We know that the neighbors that live below the mm -hmm. hill behind Target uh, really want privacy. This is a private neighborhood. Right. Um, but we've learned from these local officials that two or three of those homes had been uh, served with those voluntary evacuation notices mm -hmm. earlier in the week. Um, and now that number is up to five. So a scary situation right. for those folks. Uh, certainly something that's evolving. And, and with this creaking and movement, I'm sure that they are uh, keeping steady. And, oh, yeah. Uh, up on this situation. That's for sure. As we mentioned, there are a lot of different players here involved uh, on, on what's happening behind Target. We received a statement today from the Barbersville Fire Chief, that's uh, Andrew Frazier, and he said, as to the issue at the Target shopping store, all safety issues have been addressed and also discussions have taken place with all the utility companies currently involved with the situation. Utilities have been rerouted and there's a constant evaluation on the slippage. The fire department and the other emergency services are ready to respond if we would be needed for any assistance. Police Chief Darren McNeil uh, saying the same thing, that their crews are out monitoring mm -hmm. the situation, uh, looking up here on the top of the hill with Target, but also uh, working on the neighborhood, uh, right. that Meadow Creek neighborhood as well. So something that is evolving and moving uh, constantly here. All right, so that does it for us for right now. We're going to have a little bit more in just a little while. Right now, we're going to take it back to the studio with Taylor and Tony.